Hello, hello. Uh, I think it's day 25 of lockdown. Uh, welcome everyone. So tonight I thought I've been getting the guidance uh, to do something for the children that uh, are suffering in this world. Now tonight I'm actually going to do something for the many children and we're going to go through time and space that have passed away but haven't fully moved into the light. Now there are many that have passed that have moved but I'm talking about the children that are have perhaps gone through some form of abuse and passed away because of it or what's happening with the children at the moment that are being rescued there has been many of them apparently that have passed away while they've been under this awful um, torture and, and uh, stuff that's been going on um, also we want to include in tonight the many women and children both male and female that have passed away while they've been under control who have been trafficked because human trafficking is huge on this planet and that everyone thinks that you know the drug thing is the biggest thing that makes money for a lot of people that are probably not particularly nice um, but actually it's human trafficking if you look into the statistics of the amount of people that are trafficked between different countries often used for prostitution slavery and all sorts of other not very nice things and many of those have passed away now like I said many have gone to the light but there are many and I can feel them when I look into that dimension uh, that have become stuck if you like so tonight I'm going to take us on a journey there will be things that I will be doing silently to move these souls over but I'm going to lead you to that dimension so that many of you who I know watch my videos because you're at the beginning of your spiritual journey and you're opening up and you're learning things so we're going to dive into that dimension where many of these lost souls have gone we're not going to go right in there and look at everything because we don't need to do that we're going to literally with intention go in and help all of the children that have gone into that dimension and all of the women and if there has been men as well that have been trafficked for child sex slavery and all of that stuff and adult slavery and sex uh, so that's what we're going to do tonight so for you that are new to all this uh, it's for me I find it really easy to do but I'm going to take you down that journey and bring you back so we can connect with those souls and I've, I've already connected with them I can feel them there for me like I said I can do this within seconds and I can be in that space I do a lot of my work is to do with clearing every time I are driving around and I see what we call over here roadkill so an animal that's been knocked over by a car or, or a bird or anything like that I always open a portal to send them to the collective where all of those beautiful souls go and I see them lit going and this is how I see them I see them literally as a wisp if you like of energy 
going up. So it's their soul that's going up. And it's going up through the portal that I have opened. Um, and I do this when I'm traveling along and even when we go on holiday, I usually end up doing this type of work, clearing. And even if I do um, clearing, say a house clearing, or clearing, because they also can attach to people's energy. Earthbound spirits is what I call them. And it's like they're stuck here on the earth, but they're in a different dimension. Um, there are many, many of them, and this is a lot of the work that I do. So I clear spirits off of people out of houses, off of land, and I go through time and space, because if you can imagine, especially in somewhere like the UK or Europe, there are so many, so many different layers and layers upon layers upon layers on one piece of land, especially in a town or a city, that has huge amounts of history attached to it. And often there it could be souls walking across it, there could be um, someone that's passed away on it. Uh, if it is someone's property, then normally when it comes to a property, especially if it's like a really old house or um, even a church, churches that are built on special ley line crossover points, so energy points, and they hold a huge amount of timeline history. But so do some of the older houses and castles, of course, definitely. So you can imagine the denseness of energy when you delve into those dimensions. They are all connected, but likewise, they are all separate because they're different timelines. So you can imagine in like some of the castles, some of the old houses, some of the old manor houses, or even some of the old cottages that have been there for hundreds of years, there is a lot of energy and spirit that are attached to those pieces of land and properties often. Most older houses will have some form of spirit attached to the layers. And often you won't know about them until you perhaps start doing any renovations or something like that, because that upsets sometimes the spirit that is still there in the house because to them often they haven't died uh, and they are then now realizing that something's going on in their house god did you see the pink that beautiful pink that came across the screen then um, yeah, they, they realise that there's something going on in their house. And they're thinking, what's going on? And I'm just going to tell you a film that is worth watching. And it's along these lines, and it's called The Others. It's got Ni Nicole Kidman in it. It's worth watching if you're into this sort of stuff. So, okay, I, I will say as well, actually, I'll just say this, that a lot of my work uh, involves clearing earthbound spirit, clearing energy, but also there are other non-human entities. I don't call them demons. I don't, I, I don't believe in demons and all that, but they are entities that often can disrupt someone's energy field, someone's space if they're there um, and also uh, interdimensional negative interdimensional beings they are more like um, beings that I've got to be careful what I say is so I see often see them as like little creatures a bit like um, perhaps a mite if you like but but they're bigger than than what a mite would be um, and they often feed off energy and fear and things like that. 
So as you can imagine with what's happening around the planet right now, there is quite a lot of, because not only have we been disrupted with what's going on here, also in other dimensions, it's having a knock on effect. So that's a part of the work that I do. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go into that dimension and we're going to clear all the children and all the women and men that have passed through any form of sexual violence, domestic violence, trafficking, uh, slavery, you can imagine there is so much so we're actually going to do this from the whole planet so this is a biggie this is a biggie even for me because we're, we're going to go in for the whole planet like I said there will be times when I'm going in silently I will be using my pendulum to check that we've done what we've needed to do so I'd like you to follow along with me and I want you to know that we're going to call in everybody we're fully protected. There's nothing to be fearful about. If you're with me, I have no fear about this stuff at all. So you follow along with me and no matter what time you watch this, you are not going to attract anything to connect onto your energy field. We're going to call in all of our guides for protection and everything first. I don't need to do this anymore, but I'm going to do it to, to help you through this. So, okay, so then remembering that pure unconditional love is the highest frequency in the cosmos, in the universe, in, in creation. So we're going to now just get into that beautiful space of unconditional love, so again, I want you to think of something in your life where you felt that most beautiful unconditional love. And often it's when we first hold our children, when they're babies, uh, a person in your life, a pet in your life, uh, whatever it is that you can think of. And once you've found that beautiful unconditional love and that soul connection, I want you to breathe in that feeling, breathing it right in, Allowing it to flood through your heart space. And then breathing out. Breathing in again, that beautiful unconditional love. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in again, breathing in that beautiful unconditional love. Seeing it go right the way through your entire being, down to your toes, your fingertips and the top of your head and breathing out unconditional love as well. Breathing in unconditional love again, seeing it flood through your body, it's going into every cell, filling every cell with pure light and breathing out unconditional love. And breathing in again, breathing it in. This time it's flooding your body, but it's going out through your skin into your energy field, which is about this far away normally on average so it's going right to the edge of your energy field wherever that is and breathing out unconditional love breathing in again that unconditional love seeing it flood through your entire being through all bodies and right out to your energy field seeing it as a pink mist absolutely filling your personal bubble your energy field is your personal bubble Filling that and on the outsides of that bubble, we're seeing that beautiful gold rim that's all the way around. And again, we're seeing those streams of light coming in from the unified field that's all the way around as we're tapping in to unconditional love that's all the way around us. And that is pure coming in as pure light coming in and filling our bubble and filling our entire being with unconditional love. And that beautiful golden seal that's around the outside of your bubble, bubble now is pure golden light. 
it's very very powerful and it's sealing your bubble now I want you to see that completely sealing your bubble now but allowing unconditional love to flood in and beautiful positive energy to flood in but it is sealing it from any negative energy whatsoever through time and space cannot enter that field and so it is now it is set in stone once you've done this no negative energy can enter that bubble and you're still breathing in unconditional love and breathing out unconditional love but now you're feeling very empowered within yourself because you know you're fully protected so we're now tapping into all of our guides. We're going to start from the top. We're connecting into the God Source, the highest frequency in the cosmos, the collective, archangels and angels, ascended masters, spirit guides and helpers, all beings from the highest realms in the spirit world, the Brotherhood of Light, the Galactic Federation of Light and the High Council. Also, we're connecting into the tribal elders and the ancient ones and all the beautiful interdimensional beings and transdimensional beings from the fifth dimension and up. We're connecting in with them and inviting them all to come in now. We're also connecting to our beautiful ET friends that work for the good of humanity and the earth and we invite them all to come in now and come up very, very close to us beautiful shining ones we invite them in as well so because we're dealing with children uh, we're inviting in to come extra close Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, Jesus and the Masters the Ascended Masters and all the angels that are here specifically to protect the children for healing uh, and also for anyone who has suffered any trauma. So not all, only are we connecting to people that have been trafficked, but any domestic violence as well, that have passed through any domestic violence. And this is both male and female. So we're connecting in now. We've got our beautiful teams that are very, very close around us. We pray for full protection and that this process be done quickly and easily with grace and ease. So now we're going to, or I'm going to open a portal now that is connected to the spirit world, only allowing spirit from the highest realms to come through that portal, connected to the spirit world, but wide enough to encompass the whole of the earth. It's big. Remember, only spirit from the highest realms can come down. Will come through because it's another dimension also that we're tapping into so by this process we're actually joining up a portal a form if you like a structure where people can travel through between dimensions so now I want you to travel with me if you want to into the dimension where these beautiful souls have become trapped. There are many, many of them, all different age groups, all different types of trauma. There are thousands, because we're going through time and space, remember. There are thousands and thousands that are connected with the earth 
in that dimension that need to go into the light. And because we've already opened that portal up, they're already starting to go. I can see there are many that want to go anyway. They can see the beautiful light to go towards. So I want you to imagine now that we're actually stepping back and looking into that dimension. And it's like we've got one of those megaphone things that really emphasizes your voice. So we're talking now en masse to all of these beings, because some of them are very confused. They don't know why they're there. Some of them don't even know that they've passed and they're, they really are lost. Some are frightened to go over because their perpetrator might be over there already because they've been stuck for so many years. But we're going to reassure them now. So we've got this megaphone now. You can all join in with this if you like. It's using your, imagine, your imagination as you're viewing into that dimension. You can see a sea of souls. So you, can, you might see some of them and you actually start to see their faces. You might see some of them as pure energy. You might just see like a blanket of moving energy and that represents them all. Doesn't matter how you see it, we're tapping into that dimension now. We've got this megaphone, it's like we're speaking to all of them through time and space. So there's many, many layers. And now we're going to talk to them. So I would normally do all this with inside my own consciousness, but I'm going to voice it out loud I just want you to stay in this space, follow me, use your imagination to what you're seeing. You might not even be seeing anything, but you can feel it. So me and my team now are talking to all these souls. So I'm going to speak what I would normally speak inside my head, but I'm going to speak it out loud. I've come here to help you. There is nothing to be fearful of. You can see the light. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel as it's glowing pure, beautiful, bright white light. And it is time now for you to go up, to transition to the next part of your journey. I wish to reassure you that in the light, you will receive pure love, pure understanding, healing, and there is no judgments. And it is time for you to go now. Do not be frightened, there's nothing to fear. It is a beautiful, beautiful space. And even for many of you who have been there for such a long time, please do not fear going into the light. It is the most magnificent, beautiful space of pure love and pure harmony. And you will receive healing and understanding and no judgment. So we're calling in now all of our guides to come in. There's many, many leaving already. I can see many, many going. It's almost like a blanket is being lifted up, up into the light. Streams and streams and streams of souls going up. so many they're going on mass and like I said we we're tapped into through time and space so we're talking all timelines and you can imagine over the earth's history there is thousands upon thousands millions leaving now 
leaving that dimension, going up into the light. This is going to take a bit of time, so we are going to leave that portal open so that everyone from all those timelines can go up. And we've got the masters and the angels all here as well, working away to encourage everyone to go up. There are some that are still a little bit apprehensive. But what's happening is they are seeing everyone else going and they don't want to be left behind on their own. So they are following the others. I can still see them going up. So this is going to take quite a lot of time. And when I tune in, because I can step out and tune in really easily. They're still going up, but there is millions of left already. Because I'm seeing that the space that they held in that dimension is becoming empty. So all the beautiful masters and angels are helping them, helping to lift them up because there are some that, there are some that have even, when they were alive, they have been decapitated or have, have lost a body part. And it's almost like they don't want to leave because they don't know where their body part is. So we're just going to explain to them, you don't need that anymore. You really don't need that anymore. You're pure light, you're pure energy, and you can leave all that physicality behind. If there are any that are struggling with this, we can tap into where that shard of yourself was left and we can bring that back to you now so we're just bringing all of those back for all those souls that have missed a body part in some way even some organs now are coming back I can see limbs Even though they don't need to take that energy of that physicality with them, there are a few that are feeling they need to because they feel lost without that. So as soon as they actually go into the light, they will see that they don't need that. So we're bringing the energy or the shard of their soul that they feel is missing through that body part back to them now. And they're going. I can see them all going now. So we are going to leave this portal open and it will carry on doing its thing. Our beautiful guides and angels and the masters are there and we're going to ask our team to close that portal at the appropriate time so that it will be closed when all of these souls have gone over. We thank our teams for being with us now and I can feel from my team and your team, gratitude to us for actually starting this process. Because I know that 
There are many, many of us that can do this. There is a process of learning how to do it properly because a lot of it I've done within. But there is a process of learning how to do this, to do it correctly. So we're going to leave our team now doing that. I can feel that they've, they've nearly gone. I'm just going to check. Because it's quick, because they're energy. It's like there's one or two left, that's all. Because that blanket of souls that I saw leaving was um, the majority of them. Yeah, they've gone. They've literally gone. So I am actually going to close the portal. just said thank you thank you to all of our teens and everyone else that has been with us now for all this clearing because there have been many many higher beings that have been with us for this clearing they are thanking us for doing this and they as I tap into them are so grateful because so many souls have been lifted now and that the healing can now begin fully for them as they go into the spirit world they will go into a place of healing first and they will be made whole and they will also understand as they witness what has taken place, not with what we've just what we've done, but the purpose of their life on their in their last lifetime. And they will reconnect with the collective. Thank you, thank you, thank you blessings thank you okay so this has been a big big clearing tonight that we've done I'm gonna say we because you've joined in with it if you have witnessed uh, that dimension or even the portal and the light and the spirit world even and those higher beings that were with us because there were many 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 actually then please comment below and uh, let me know how you felt about this and um, if you witnessed what happened or if you felt it within your heart it's very powerful work and I, uh, I feel very blessed that I am able to do it because I know it's helping to clear a lot. And it, like I said before, it will have a knock on effect through different dimensions and of course timelines because we've worked into different timelines. So I am going to say much love from me. I am going to be doing some other stuff to do with the children, but these next one is going to be for the children that have been abused, trafficked, uh, and this is for the ones that are still living. 
so uh, I don't know when I'm going to do that because um, it might even be in a few days time because I can feel there's something big building up about that um, so we'll just see what happens what guidance I get so much much love for me thank you thank you thank you to you all from the bottom of my heart for joining in because we've done this again on a mass consciousness so it doesn't matter when you watch this video you have because we can travel with our consciousness back through time and space forward if we want parallel uh, we can travel with our consciousness to any time and join the collective of all of us that have helped towards this clearing tonight so thank you um, and lots of love from me and uh, please you can share this video or you don't need to share it if you don't want to it doesn't matter um, because this was a collective I know the work's been done because I can see into that dimension and um, so it's up to you if you want to share this uh, if you haven't already and you want to see the other videos that I do, please press subscribe and click on the little bell because you'll get notifications uh, that I've put up another video. And I'm doing them every day while we're on lockdown. And we've just been told today that New Zealand is going to have one more week at level four and then two weeks at level three. And it's funny because the whole way through, I've been getting the number three. So I knew it was to do with three weeks. And then when we got the news today, altogether it's three weeks we're being told so far. And I think, yeah, thank you. Thank you, intuition. Thank you, my guides, for giving me the nudge and the heads up. So lots and lots of love. Take care. Bye for now.